Hello, and welcome to Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Akshay, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How can customer policy help strengthen my security posture? First, a little background. Organization policy, or org policy, is a resource-centric guardrail which allows you to control which resource configurations are allowed in your organization. Org policy is a fundamental Google Cloud native guardrail that protects your resource configurations independent of principles or type of resource action. Administrators can set these guardrails at any node in their resource hierarchy. At configuration time, org policy inspects each resource action and non-compliant requests, for example, creating a non-compliant resource or updating a resource to a non-compliant state will be rejected. Google Cloud offers around 110 built-in predefined policies that we have identified based on industry best practices, customer feedback, as well as red team findings, and have already codified so they are ready to use. I'm excited to share that a powerful new extension of org policies called Custom Org Policy is now generally available and ready to use. Custom Org Policies are customizable security guardrails that can be applied across your environment at any desired level, such as organization, folder, or project. You can quickly craft custom constraints using the intuitive common expression language, or cell, to specify conditions or restrictions tailored to your specific use cases through the console, command line, or API in a matter of minutes. Additionally, you can be confident that policy changes will not disrupt your environments using safe rollout tooling like dry run mode and policy simulator. Let's take a look at the custom org policy workflow. First, you can author a granular policy per your unique requirements, and this controls resource configuration at resource create or update time. You can then simulate the impact of this policy in your org by identifying existing resources that would violate this policy. This gives you a snapshot view of the extent of the impact or non-compliance. Next, you can set this policy in dry run or audit logging mode to understand how this policy would behave in the real world with ongoing workloads and pipelines without disrupting your operations. And finally, once satisfied with the results you can enforce this policy at the desired node, similar to how you would apply a conventional org policy today. This is now a strict guardrail that will deny creation or update of non-compliant resources. Let's see what this looks like with an example. Consider the use case where a security administrator wants to set up governance guardrails around their cloud storage buckets. They want to enforce object versioning in their storage buckets. Let's see this in action. Here's a brief demo that demonstrates the power of custom org policies with our policy lifecycle tooling. For the same use case, as a security admin, I want to ensure that only cloud storage buckets with object versioning enabled are allowed. In order to do this, I create a custom constraint in the console, starting with a human-readable display name, unique ID, and a description that tells me the intent behind this constraint. I configure it to apply to a bucket resource during both create and update operations. Looking through GCS documentation, I see this knob called versioning.enable that can be used in my condition. And we want to make sure that only resources that meet this criteria are allowed. Once all fields are complete, our UI automatically generates the necessary constraint YAML file. Now we need to make sure that it can be rolled out safely. The first check that you can do is to simulate the impact this constraint will have on your existing resources. You can set the desired scope and initiate simulation. Policy Simulator then checks whether existing resources would be in violation of this new constraint you're authoring and generates a report that looks something like this. Here you can see there are resources that would be in violation of this constraint, giving you an early signal on next steps, whether you want to remedy the resources or modify the constraint. You can also set this constraint in dry run mode. This will generate an audit log for all actions where custom org policy is checked and there is a difference between live and dry run behavior. This log sample shows an example where a bucket operation would be potentially denied if this policy was in effect. Once you are satisfied, you can enforce this policy on your desired node like you would do any other predefined org policy. You can set enforcement to on, apply this change, and once enforced, we now have a strict guardrail in place. Let's test this out. 
I can try creating a bucket with versioning disabled. As expected, this action would be denied and I would get an error message highlighting why this action was denied. I can also take a look at my audit logs to get a more detailed view of the error mode. I hope this video gave you a sense of how you can leverage custom org policy to safely meet your governance and compliance goals. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com forward slash security for more content from Google Cloud experts. <laughs>